today I'm going to continue what I haven't done for a while and that is to base a soap design on one of my paintings. And this one is a painting of a um, sort of sad looking um, zebra, but I really like the colors in this because um, I'm making a, a soap with a scent of um, pineapple jasmine. And I thought, you know, what kind of painting do I have, or what painting do I have that, that has a, a orange and um, some yellows in it that could kind of represent the pineapple. So I thought of this little guy here. It's got the yellows and oranges, but it also has some nice light, light green, dark blues, and uh, like a turquoise blue also. So I thought um, this would be a great way to um, design a soap. So I'm going to do two different in the pot swirls. And I'm really curious on um, what would happen if I combine the two in the pot swirls as if it was the tiger swirl. So I'm going to alternately pour the two in the pot swirls into um, the, the loaf mold. So I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm really curious. And um, I'll take you through the whole process of this today because there's um, it's not much different from what I um, usually do. So um, just to let you know, I'm doing the same kind of um, prep for this, and I'll be right back with some six colors this time. And uh, I'm going to do the first colors that I'm going to work with. There's a yellow, extra turquoise. And remember, I'm um, and there's some red. I am um, following the color scheme that I had in that zebra painting. Try to match them up the best I can. Only using a little bit of red. This is a very strong but delicious smelling fragrance called pineapple jasmine from nature's garden first time I've used it and I always try to match the colors with uh, you know the scents it's sort of like an illusion we're working with so I think that we help the, our customers or people that are going to use this by matching that up the best we can okay so I'm going to start with this yellow. And I want it a brighter yellow. Yes, so I'm going to add some um, neon yellow. And my orange. This is getting hard really fast. Here. I think it's the jas jasmine in the fragrance. So that's not nearly. Put those to the side. Again, I'm going to have to change my plans a little bit because it's just solidifying so fast, but I think it'll still be cool. I'm going to still try to do what I wanted to do. So let me see if this is fluid. It is. To stir this down first. Let's see, looking at my plan, I'm going to do the orange, turquoise, and light green. Well, it's actually not to my blue because that's not very turquoise. Still not very turquoise. Well, it's uh, not too turquoise at all. I'm 
going to have to live with that. Let's see. Mix this up. Okay. Orange. Closest to turquoise I can get. That's just sitting on top. So I'm going to have to stir a little bit more to get my swirls. Save a little for the top. And the green. It's a bit ambitious of me to try to do something with so many colors with a fragrance I've never used before. So let me kind of fold this. And get the one. Which is the yellow. this blue and this red fold that More of like a drop swirl with two different in the pot swirls. Just alternating them, getting some nice straight stripes. Two soaps in a row. It's not too fun. I have two soaps in a row do this, but it'll work out. Nice. Some of the colors that I have in my painting in these colors, so that's good. Part of the problem, uh, even if you study color in art school, is that some of these soaps, yellow, and actually I knew this about um, pineapple jasmine scent, is that it says that it turns the soap beige, so that you have to take that into consideration also when you're working with your colors. The darker color or I try to hide the yellow, the darker color a little bit. This needed some dark accent, so. Okay, so let me see. I'm going to use a spoon and try to just lightly texture the top. I think I like the look of this, um, I think I like the look of a sort of high, little slightly higher ridge on top. Okay, so that's what it ended up looking like on top. I like that. And uh, smells really awesome. So I'm really curious to see how this turned out because it's um, very different than my original plans. And I'll have to try my, um, my idea of combining two in the pot swirls in a tiger swirl approach with some other fragrance that doesn't um, speed up um, the soap. Um, next time so anyway this has been another journey i've taken you with um not knowing where i'm going and we'll see you next time this is clyde for vibrant soap and uh hope you'll look at the website and um, check out 
the rest of these soap making videos. Take care.